Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Spies and Soldiers, a tactical game about taking control of land using spies, who do sneaky nefarious things, and soldiers, who do stabby stabby fighty things. Everything plays out on a little map, and we can move our people around to do sneaky stuff or fighty stuff, we train up more soldiers, we can train up the spies to become better at spying, we claim cities, we claim farmland, with the idea of the game being to control a certain number of castles before the enemy control that number of castles. It's a a little bit like Risk, I suppose. It's a tiny bit like Risk, but with way more spies and way less little colourful plastic people to move around the map. Now, this is the demo of the game. It's on Steam right now as I record this. And as always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description, so you can go and check the game out a bit more and also have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Let's jump in and do some spying and soldiering. Okay, doke, here we go. So we are playing an offline game right now. We are playing against the computer just because I thought that was an easier option, really it was easier to play against the AI than to try to find somebody to match up against and then them take ages to take their turns or drop out when it looks a bit tricky for them or whatever. So I thought we'd just go and play the AI because it's nice and straightforward. You can go online if you want to. You can play your friends or you can play random people in multiplayer, but we shall take on the computer. And when you begin a new game, it does something very exciting. I do like this. So you get your map like we can see here and it's a lovely map. It looks very pretty, but it also gives the adventures to come a bit of an effect official title. So all the things that we're going to do when we play our game here, all the spying and soldiering and battles and shenanigans and everything else, it's given it a name. And the name is the Song of Edmund the Forsaken. So all the things we do, every action we take, is going to form part of the Song of Edmund the Forsaken, which I quite like. I think that's quite good. I like that. It's sort of as though we're writing history. We're kind of forming part of this song with everything we do, which is quite lovely. So that's quite a nice touch. I like that. So here is the map. This is where everything's going to happen. And it's broken up into quite a lot of little islands. Now, when I did the tutorials and I had my sort of one half effort at a practice run, which is a bit like what we're going to see here, we had two big islands and that was it. We had just two islands to go on. This is all broken up into many islands. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight islands. And they're all connected by these kind of little dotted lines there, kind of like sea routes, if you like. So these kind of star bits are ports. So you can move about across the sea, but only where there are the dotted lines. So to get onto this island here, the only access point is over there near the city of Camelford, which is quite good for whoever's got that island. And wouldn't you look at that, we have that island because we play as the Reds. So our starting point is right there. We have the castle, the fortress of Derby Guard. That is ours right there. So we're the Reds. The enemy of the Blues, they're up there in Aldencast Castle. Okay, no. so they're quite far away and they're kind of just isolated on their own up in that corner, which is quite handy for us. They can get to quite a lot of places though across the sea. They can do quite a lot of sea travel, which might be a bit of a bother for us. But there we go. So we start here, they start up there. And then over here, we have to pick who we're going to play as. We have to pick who we're going to put on the throne. So we've got their own little portrait. The portraits are a bit creepy. The portraits are very sinister indeed, but there we go. So we could play as first Sebastian, we could play as Letter, or we could play as Straw Eagle. And as you can see here, they each bring different things to the table. So these first banners here, the ones with the little kind of eyes on them, they represent spies. So each banner with an eye on is one spy. So first Sebastian begins with three spies and the little dot above them represents the spies level. So Sebastian here starts with three first level spies, which is quite handy, I suppose. And then over here, they also start with one military unit. The flags with the swords on represent fighty people. So all of our characters actually only have one military unit. So really, it's a choice of how many spies you want to start with and how good they are. So first Sebastian has three level one spies and then Letter here only has one spy, but if we count the dots, they're a level three spy. So they can do more stuff and they're better at dealing with lower level spies and they can also turn the tide of a battle if they have to. So that could be quite handy. And then Straw Eagle down here is sort of a mix between these two. They've got a level two spy and a level one spy and again, one military unit. So who do we pick to play as? Who do we choose? I'm thinking, do you know what? Let's go for letter, shall we? Let's go for letter. So one military unit, that's okay. We can train more, but one very, very good spy 
who can help us out in a number of different ways. I think we go for you. So here we go. Let's begin playing as a letter and begin the song of Edmund the Forsaken. Right, here we are. And first, I think we should point out that this is a turn-based game, which is wonderful. I do like a lovely turn-based game. There are no time pressures. There's no nagging countdown saying, hey, come on, hurry up and make your choice. I want to get on with things. We can take our time, have a little look around, find out what's going on, and then make our decisions, which is all very wonderful. It's a good cup of tea game this one. It's a very good cup of tea game. So what do we have going on? So in the middle, of course, we have the map. And then over here in the red corner, we can see our stats. So Penge the Uncrowned, bit unfortunate. Why can't we get a crown? Perhaps we'll have one made. And then over in the blue corner, we can see the stats of our opponent, Edmin. We're playing against Edmin, who very boringly is just called Computer Opponent. Why can't Edmin have a fancy title like we've got? But there we go. And you'll see here that we're both starting off exactly the same. We've got one out of five little castles. We've got three big circly dot things, and we each have one delicious turnip to go around. So what are we looking at here? What are these things? So the little castles are effectively victory conditions. So if we get five castles, and then we control those five castles for two full turns in game, we win. That's it. That's the final victory condition. And you can see the castles are dotted around the map. So there's one over there. There's one here. There's one down there. There's one quite close to us, which is very handy. And there's one all the way over there. So there are only, hang on, one, two, three, four, five others. And we've got to claim four and also keep hold of our starting one, because of course the one we already have is in our starting territory. So ours is there and Edmund's is there. We've got to claim four of those and then hold them for a good long time to win the game. That could be quite tricky. So that's what we have to do with our soldiers. Our soldiers go and do that bit. They go and do the kind of fighty conquering stuff. And then these sort of circly bits here, the circly dots, they are action points. So we've got three action points, as does Edmund, and we can get more action points by going over to the little cities that we can see here. So they're slightly different to the castles, the little cities, so Little Dale over there and Finham there. Our spies go to those, they get the cities on our side, and for each extra city we control, we get another action point, which means we can do more things on our turn, of course. And some things take more action points than others, so if we're walking through mountains, it's a bit more tricky than walking along some lovely fields or whatever. And then the kind of turnip shows the amount of military units we can have up and running at one time. So at the moment, because we just control our starting bit of land, we can only have one military unit, but we can increase that by capturing farmland. And very handily for us, there is a bit of farmland right there. We have Ludge Shire right next to us. It's a farmland. You can see some little houses and some little kind of plowed field type things. So if we go and claim that, by just moving some military units into it, that means it will get ourselves access to an extra unit, which would be very handy in doing more conquering and fighting, all that kind of stuff. It's going to be quite tricky for them, actually. It's going to be quite tricky for them. So there we go. But yeah, at the moment, we're all starting off the same. And yeah, we can connect across the sea with these kind of dotted sea route things. So at the moment, our little island here looks pretty secure. The only way in and out of our island is over here near the city of Camelford which must have a little port type thing. That's quite good for us. That's quite good for us. So, okay, let's get moving, shall we? Um, Edmund doesn't have a little portrait either. I feel like Edmund's being let down a bit there by the computer. He's got a boring name and no little picture, but okay. So what we do to move around is we basically click in here and then it shows us what's in that particular area. So we have our tier three spy and then we have one unit of military people and they're sort of combined in one banner at the moment. So with our military folks, they are called the Cerulean Knights. Oh, that's very fancy. Isn't Cerulean blue? I thought Cerulean was blue. I'm fairly certain it is, because it was on that wonderful episode of the X-Files all those years ago, Cerulean blue. But okay, so they might be in the wrong colour, but never mind. So these guys can only move into this square. It's lit up. That's the only one they can go to. So we're going to send them over there. So we click... And then, yeah, that's their action done. And we're using one action point for them to move. So they're going to trudge over to here. And then the spy, I think really, we want to get the spy over to the city of Camelford to get them on our side so we get another action point. So again, with the spy, click on you. You can only move to there because that's the only adjacent place. It's a bit annoying that we can't move to that place from our starting location. There must be a very sort of teeny tiny border there, which just about meets right. But OK, so move you there as well. And that's all we can do. That's all we can do in our turn. We haven't got much else going on. Um, so at this exact moment of time as well, the computer 
is also going to make their moves. Your opponent also decides what they're going to do at the same time as you. And then you commit your orders and then everything plays out. So I think really, what are they likely to do? I think possibly they might come down here and claim this thing here. They might go there and claim that castle because it's right next to them. They might possibly make a beeline for that place over there because Finden home is also a farming area and that would be quite good for them because they haven't got access to farming over here. I don't think, I don't think so anyway. So uh, let's see what happens. We can't do anything else. We have one sort of um, yeah, action point unspent. They do carry over. So you carry over half at a time. So eventually if you do two turns and you carry over two halves of an action point, then yeah, eventually it becomes a full action point. So commit our orders. So yeah, it's a yeah, unused action points, that's fine. Only got two things to move. Wait for the opponent, turn resolution. Okie doke, so we've moved to here. We've claimed Ludshire for our own. We click to continue and we place our orders. Now we don't know what the enemy did. We can't see that, oh, they've got a little picture. Hello there, Elise, cunning in, ah, hang on. They've got the same as us. They chose the same starting setup as us one military unit and one level three spy. Okay, oh, that's quite intriguing. So Letta and Elise. Okay, maybe they're like sisters. Maybe that's what we could play it as. They're sisters and they're fighting for the crown of this land. And uh, I don't know where Edmund the Forsaken fits into this. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Edmund the Forsaken did something very silly and tried to get married, uh, tried to uh, wed himself to both Letta and Elise there thinking he was clever but then it all went wrong and he's been forsaken and now these two are trying to become the ruler of the land that's where Edmund comes in Edmund was a very silly ambitious person who thought Do you know what I'll marry them both then no matter who takes over I will be in charge but he got found out he got booted out he's been forsaken he's not going to be in charge ever again and it's going to be one of these two I quite like that let's go for that shall we uh okay right so back we go so now we've got our three action points, then half is kind of holding just there. So we want to get our spy. So move them over to the city of Camelford. At the moment, they're just not controlled by anybody. Then that kind of generic color there. And then if we get our military unit to come down here to the Sinevj Fort, which is an interesting name. So you guys walk into there, that's gonna be quite good. We do have one action point left and we could, at the moment, train up another unit of soldiers because now we've got three food. We've got three lots of turnips. It's a veritable peasant's feast. Um, but I think, I think, yeah, if we actually click on this, muster soldiers, I think is two action points, if I recall correctly. So we can't get any more soldiers right now. So never mind, we'll commit those orders. Yes, please, here we go. So I don't know what the opponents are doing again. I can't see what they're doing. I think we can see when they claim stuff. I think we can see when they claim land. So maybe, I don't know what they're doing. I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but okay. Ah, here we go, look. Oh, they've come down here, look. So they've claimed Shrower's Rock, which is no great surprise, but also they've come down here. They've come down here and claimed that. They're going for these two. They're going for those two castles there, which does make perfect sense. However, we have now, if we click to continue, yep, so place orders, we've claimed the Sinevj Fort, so now we're on two castles, as is Edmin, but also we've claimed ourselves the city of Camelford, which means we get four action points and another one is kind of holding for us, which is wonderful. That is very good news. Well done, Super Spy. So I think really it would make sense for our spy to hop over here and capture that little city as well. Get that on our side and we get another action point. So let's just hop you over the water there. And then I think we have to try to get over here. We have to try and capture that farmland before they do, because if they get that, that means that they can muster an army to fight our one. So I think if we can try and claim that as soon as possible, that will be quite handy. However, over here, we can see where their spy is. Their spy look has gone over to Finham, Fincham, I think it's Finham. They've gone over to Finham. And when a spy does an action, we can see where they are if they do a particular thing. So if they're claiming cities or whatever, um, you can do assassinations and other bits and bobs as well. But when they do an action, other than move, we can see what they're up to. So we can see their spy is there and they can see that our spy is over here at the moment. They can't see where they're going to move to. They know that our spy is over here doing some spy stuff. Right, so I think then, 
let's get you guys moving over here, and then over here, let's train up some soldiers. Muster up some soldiers, please. And I think that's all we can do. They can only move one space at a time as well. You can't move them into multiple places. So here we go. Go to the next turn. They're going to claim one of these castles, I think. That's fairly obvious. So we've gone over here. We've claimed another little city, which is brilliant. They do have the old Baishaw garrison, however, which is a bit of a nuisance, but we now do have two units trained, which is very handy. So you guys move to here. You guys, the newly trained ones, move to here. And then if we get the spy, where do we put the spy? Their spy was here which means I think they can access the water network and go to one of many locations, I think. They could even come down here. I think for now, let's put our spy... Oh, hang on, didn't do that right. Click the spy. Let's put our spy back over here. I think their spy might come back over this way. Um, I think... Although, hang on. Can we go over here? Could we capture Watchurch Bridge? Would their spy go for that, possibly? Would their spy go up there? That would be quite, that would be quite tempting for them, wouldn't it? Um, I think, let's put our spy over there. Uh, I didn't do that right either. Spy, go here. Oh, no, they can't move there. Okay, right, they can't go there. Okay, hang on, so where can you go? Oh, you can only go back here. Oh, okay, well, that's nice and simple. Come back that way then, spy friend. Okay, so go to the next turn. We have to see what the enemy do now. So turn resolution, okie doke, movement. Our troops are moving around as best they can. We've captured that bit. A nice red island is ours. That's all lovely. I imagine they're making their way back across to get that of the keep just there, but it doesn't look like they're coming over this way just yet, which is good news for us. Although at the moment, they are in the lead. They've got three little castles and we only have two, but I think we can turn that around. So let's get the spy out and let's put the spy over here into Watchurch Bridge. And then I think over here in the city of Camelford, if we click on the city itself, we are going to recruit another spy. We're going to get another spy on board. And then possibly when our three star, three tier spy is over here, we're going to train them up to make them a four tier spy, to make them better than the opposition spy. Because we know they started with a tier three level three spy. So if we can train them up to make them better as well, that would be quite handy. So recruit a new spy. That'd be handy over there in the city of Camelford. And then we're going to leave one lot of troops there. We're going to combine you lot over here. So if we then commit those orders. So yes, please. What are the enemy up to? What are you up to, Edmin? Edmin the blue. Hang on. Their spy is over here, look. Their spy is over there because the city of Camelford has gone blue. So their spy is over here. That's a bit of a nuisance because our tier three spy is all the way over there, which is a bit of a bother. If we'd have put them there, we could have had a spy off. There could have been a spy fight, but um, no. Okay, so Camelford has now gone over to the blues, which is a bit of a bother. Um, we can't fight them, I don't think. I don't think we can fight them, but we could come over here and then go and get that. And then we could start training troops up there and we could possibly sweep over in this direction. That might be our best course of action. If we get the spy, come back down here. So bring that spy down there. Um, and then we want to put you there and put the other military unit just there. Can we train another? What I can't recall is, is it one... Is it one military unit per turnip? You know, do they have a very uh, you know, small appetite and they eat a turnip each? Or is it multiple? Is it one and a half? I think it might be one military unit per turnip. So possibly, do you know what we'll do? We'll commit our orders now. Hang on, where did our, um, where did our spy go? Uh, oh no, they didn't finish training because it got taken over by the blues. That botherations. Okay, right, commit those orders. So, yeah, do that, please. Send that through. So, yes, commence the actions. Right, turn resolution. The spies move back here. We've claimed that. And we've claimed what church bridge as well. And we don't know where the enemy spy has gone. However, we now do know that we can move our two military units into... What's that? 
Shaw Peter, I can't see what it says there. Shaw Peter Stock? Shaw Peter Stone? I'm not quite sure. A thing over there. Oh, hang on. There's the enemy spy. The enemy spy is right there. They've taken that place. Okay, I think, I think they might come back here. I think they might come back to the city of Camelford. They might possibly come in here and try to get us. So how about over here in that city, in, how do you pronounce that? Il, Il Chedton, we recruit a spy over there because they can't get to there. So that will give us another spy. And then I think when we claim that place there, we'll start training up troops. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. So commit that. Our current spy is going to just stand here. Uh, right, so turn resolution. We don't know where the other spy has now gone. They've kind of vanished. Can we see them? Um, no, we don't know where they've gone. Okay, so they didn't come back down here, I don't think. Because if they did, we could do some assassinating. Yeah, they can open castle gates as well, which is quite fun. That's quite good. So I think over here, let's train our spy. Let's make them better, please. So you do better. You become a tier four spy. And then this spy here, you also train up and become a level two spy. So let's make our spies significantly better. And now we can have quite a lot of military units because we control two lots of farmland, which is brilliant. So I think over here, we muster some soldiers in the new place we just conquered. Um, no real purpose getting that, I don't think. No real function getting that bit of land over there. Over here, we will control a kind of a port crossing type thing. That'd be quite good. Yeah, we'll move you a lot over there. So you come, oh, hang on, didn't do that very well. Uh, oh no, we've used up all of our points. We've used up all of our action points. Right, okay, that makes sense. So they're gonna have to stay there for now, but that's okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're training up another unit in there, but yeah, that's fine, that's okay, we can deal with that. So, right, commit those orders. Let's see what the opposition do. Ah, oh, their spy is gonna come down here. Their spy is there. Their spy has moved into that place there. There's a spy down here. The only thing is that spy is stronger than our spy. So that spy could potentially murder our spy, which would be quite bad. Now, the only thing is that spy, their baddie spy has got to come back this way. So they can either lurk around there forever or they have to come back over here. So if we bring our level one spy because they couldn't finish training because we lost control of the uh, of the town there, the city, because their spy is a higher level. If we bring them back over there, then we've got two spies. Their one has to come back over here. So if they vanish, we know they've come back over here and we can possibly try to assassinate them, which would be very handy. If we could kill them, that would be brilliant. They do have another spy over there, which is a little bit of an issue. That is a bit of a bother. Uh, also, they've got four, they've got four castles. One more and they win. Okay, but there's one here, which we need to try and hold. Uh, those two, they're unlikely to get, I would say. So, okay, so what do we do with our fighty folks? What do we do with the soldiers? I think we move these soldiers into that place there. So let's move them forward. So move one lot forward. Then from there, we could potentially come all the way down here. Over here, I think, however, we do need to... Oh, no, we can't do it. We can't train up another unit just yet. Hang on. So move one lot and then move another lot. Um, hang on, they can't move there. Why can't they move there? Is it too many? Oh, I think it's too many. Oh, they're moving through mountains. It takes two action points to move through mountains. Okay, botheration, never mind. One lot can go over there. So commit those orders. We'll save the action points. That might appear as a full one next time, which would be handy. So turn resolution. Uh, ah, spy versus spy. Okay, their spy has assassinated our spy. Our little mouse was discovered and killed by the enemy's clever fox in the southeast. Oh, it's all very sad. So, the only thing is, if our spy was killed here, we know their spy has got to be over here, surely. Uh, oh no, hang on. Now our spy is over there. They didn't get away in time. They didn't get away in time. That's a bit sad. Right, we are going to continue to wait over here. That's what we're going to do. Their spy up here has kind of vanished. It's a little bit worrying, but okie dokie. Uh, right, you lot move into there. 
and then you lot also move into there. One point left. Do you know what? Can we train a spy? Can we do that? No. Oh no, recruit a spy. Yeah, recruit a spy is one point. I want another spy. We need another one to go and do more sneaky stuff. So, okay, run out of action points. Commit those orders. Let's see what happens. Yeah, in terms of fighting, we should be significantly better than them. Right, they've gone over there. They've claimed that over there. There is a bit of a sort of, uh, you know, an east-west divide going on here. It's all very dramatic. But I think if we can get our people down here, we should then be able to fight over here and have some proper battles going on. So the battles look a little bit like what we saw there with the spies. Um, and there are various mechanics that we have to take into account to uh, figure out who's going to win the battle. But um, yeah, it does benefit. Uh, so yeah, it counts the, basically, the bigger the army you have, you're going to win. So the more swords you have as part of the fight, you are going to win. If it's even, so if it was one sword versus one sword, the winner would be if you've got a castle that's your colour in your defence, or if you're just fighting in friendly territory, I believe. That gives you the advantage. But then you can have spies, and the spies can kind of join in, and they give you intelligence. So if it's even, and then there's a spy, you've got the higher level spy, that can tip the battle in your favour. We might possibly see that, I'm not quite sure. But I think, yeah, click to continue. Uh, ah, they've trained another spy over there. They've got, oh no, and they've gone to level four. Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. We need to train our spy up to level five. Okay, hang on a minute. Train that spy to level five, please. We want a level five spy because they're training up over there and that's a bit of a bother. Okay, that takes up two of our action points. Botherations. Okay, I think then we need... Is the other spy there? Yeah, we have got that one. Okay, I think we're going to have... Oh, it can only do one training thing at a time. That's a bit of a nuisance. And then we've got the port. Okay. So, do we use these final... Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to muster some more soldiers. We've got three units. I think we can have four because of the four delicious turnips. So muster another unit and we should be okay. Yeah, they're doing quite well with their spies. They're doing a grand job of spying, which is a bit of a bother, isn't it, really? Right, so our spies leveled up a level five spy now, which is fantastic. And they're in our place. They've come over here, not realising that we've been working on levelling up. Okay, this is fantastic. So, level five spy. There's a level four spy in our territory right now. However, we are going to assassinate them. We are going to kill the four-star four star enemy spy. There we go. And you, level one spy, you can run back over here. You can go back over there, claim that for us. That's going to be wonderful. Okay. That is the current plan. Right, happy with that. And then we've got two action points left. We need more. We need to claim that and that again to get up to six action points so we can move all our soldiers around. Okay, I think then maybe this unit here, let's bring them back over this way. Let's bring them back here just in case they get a clever idea and try to attack us. We've got no defense down here right now at all. Here we go. So we can see a fight assassination in that place there, which I'm not going to say the name of. Success. So we've got five, you've got four. Our grey diplomat in the southeast neutralised a trouble merchant who is conspiring with the enemy. Indeed, away with you, stabity stab. And now that one is dead. So their really good spy has just been dispatched, which is brilliant for us. Right, so place orders. We're now up to five. I think we bring that unit down here. But then we have to get them back over here. Because at the moment, if the enemy did come in over here, they could just walk through, claim that farmland, claim those two things before we can even get to them. So we need some sort of defence over here to head them off at the port of Camelford. So that's going to be quite good. And then you lot up here, can you all move down here? It's one movement because you're on boats and you're going into nice, simple territory. Okay, get down there. That's fantastic, right? And they've got one point left. What we'll do is we'll train up that spy. Just hang on, press the right button. So yeah, recruit. Oh, it's two points, isn't it? Oh, bother. Okay, we'll save it for next time. Okay. So leave our spy there because they might come back over here to get revenge for their murdered spy. Turn resolution. We've moved into, right, 
There they are. Oh, hang on. They're fighting us. Their military units come in to have a fight with us. Oh, and their spies come in. Okay, we're going to murder their other spy. Right, here comes a fight. So, uh, the Battle of Lower Barton. We've got three swords against their one. Our larger force won the day. So that was nice and simple. That was pretty straightforward. So, okay. Boop. That becomes ours. Okay. So now, over here, they have got... Ooh. They've got food in different areas. Oh, because their land isn't connected up. Is that why? So that area there is providing food. Oh, do the castles provide a bit of food as well? I'm not quite sure. Um, that area there, or oh, maybe it's because it's a wood. Maybe woods provide food, possibly. I'm not quite sure. But they do have various bits of food. So over here, they've got a unit in their capital, let's say. And they've got a unit here and two units here. But still, we've got three. The only thing is, um, the castles counters one, uh, one sword, I believe. So if we went into here, it would be our three swords versus their two swords from their two actual fighter units of soldiers. Plus they get another sword from the castle. And because we're fighting on their territory, they would win. That's the calculation the game does. So that would be a bit of a bother. Um, how are we going to... Oh, hang on, hang on. Very important thing here. You uh, assassinate the level two spy, please. Get rid of them. That would be completely brilliant. And then you... Oh, hang on, no, press right. I mean, you uh, train up to become a level two spy, please. That would also be handy as well. And then I think, I think we can go over here because we've got three swords. They've got one sword plus the castle for a sword, but that's it. It's not even. So we should be able to win. Uh, yeah, and we're going into woods. So we should be okay doing this. So we can all move, hang on. We can all move into here, please. And you as well. So we're all going to go from here into here. So we should be able to claim that. And that's all of our points done. So here we go. Little bit of murder going on over here. Bit of stabby stabby. Okay, so turn resolution. What are they going to do first? Okie dokie. Right, so spy murdering. It's pretty much done. Another assassination in that place. It's going to get very sore around there, isn't it? Right, a great diplomat in the southeast. Removed a trouble merchant who was assisting the enemy. Okie dokie, right. So we've killed another one of their agents, which is good. And now there's going to be a fight over here. So we've got our three units. Battle of Howdenwood. They're two units. But yeah, it's gone our way. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, what's that? Oh, they couldn't flee. Ah, they couldn't flee. Our larger force won the day. The remaining enemy soldiers had no avenue of retreat and were wiped out. However, the small enemy force used the forest terrain to ambush our large army before being cut down. So because they're in a wood, they killed one lot of ours, but we still had the advantage initially, um, but they couldn't run away. So if they had that blue area there, they could have fled into that and got away, but they couldn't. So we were able to cut them down, but we've now taken a bit of a hit over here. So we've gone down to two. Bother. Right. Okay. Okay. But overall, that's pretty good. We've got four castles. We've got four. Could we? Ah, the only thing is we have to keep them. We have to keep those castles. Um, if we go here, is that going to be any good? I think get the, get the super spy to move over there. Claim that place. That's going to be good. And then get the level two spy down here. Where can you, yeah, you have to come back over here. That's fine. So you cross the, the sort of the sea just there. And then I think we're going to have to train up some more soldiers. So get two more soldiers over there, please. And then we have a bit of a nothingness happening. But never mind, never mind. We can hang around here in our castle, which is now ours, of course, because it's red. And that gives us defense, which is going to be handy. So commit those orders and we'll see what, uh, we'll see what Edmund does. What are you going to do, Edmund? How are you going to do this? So you've moved military units into here to claim that, which is a nuisance. Then you've gone into here. Okay, so click to continue. We've trained up another unit there, which is good. Okay, so place orders. They've now come back over here, I think. Let's train them up again. So train that spy to become a level three spy. And then our other spy over here, can we bring them, um, can we bring them, uh, oh, hang on, they can't, oh, they want the whole botheration, oh, and they claimed that, didn't they, they claimed that last time, that's fine, come back down here, we want them to get on the water, 
and sort of come over here. But we do want our people over there to defend. Um, so that's going to be good. And then you lot, I'm a bit nervous about the enemy coming to take that from us. Uh, you lot move out over there. So now we've got one, two, three, four. But I think we can have another... They've got their own unit of food on their own down here. Ah, they are starving. Okay, we need to undo that move, please. Uh, cancel that. So, because this lot are on their own, they need two lots of food to survive. But our food is now broken up. So the four food can go around the lit up areas there. But this area here has only got one food. It's only got one bit of food available. And there are two armies. So one of those armies is going to starve, which isn't ideal. So we need to go back over here and conquer that to then, I don't know, reunite it to the rest of our empire so the food is shared out a bit more. I think that's what we have to do. But I think if we do go here, we sure know we're going to lose. We will lose because that's now blue territory. Oh, that is a that is a bother, isn't it? We're going to lose somebody over here. They're going to starve and they might be able to claim that back. Okay, we need to keep building up troops to go down there. That's what we have to do. So go there and that's going to be... Yeah, the four food shared out between the right. So I think, is it worth training up another lot? Yeah, oh no, we can't because we've only got one action point. Do you know what? That's okay for now. So um, yeah, commit. Hang on, what are you, are you leveling up? Yeah, you're leveling up. Right, so commit those orders. I don't know what's going to happen over here. Do we starve at the end of the turn or at the beginning? I'm not quite sure. So we have gone down to one. They still can't come and get us now, though, I don't think. If they attack us, we still get the advantage. I think that's what's going to happen. They're not coming to attack us right now, which is good. That's a good thing. Yay for that. And they can now survive in there for a bit. That's wonderful. Right, so place orders. We then want... Hang on. There's a level four spy over here. Hang on a minute. Where, where did you come from, you scoundrel? Assassinate the level four spy. Away with you, you nuisance. And then... Get the other one, get the level three spy moving out to here because they can go along. And the spies can't be killed by the armies, that's fine. So if they come into here, that's going to give us an advantage. That's going to be really handy. And then I think, can we train? Yeah, hang on, nobody's, nobody's, why no action points happening? You're, which one's that? You're, oh, that's assassinating. Uh, what did I do with you then? Hang on. Tier three, move to, oh, maybe you can't move there. Maybe you have to move to here and then go down to there. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance. No. Uh, okay, go to there. Right. Okay, so that's too long a voyage. I thought you could go along to there, but never mind. Never mind. You have to go that way and then back out that way. Okay, that's a bit of a bother. That's a bit of a nuisance, if I'm honest. But not to worry. Uh, and then can we muster some more soldiers? Because I think, yeah, that means we've got... Still got enough food to feed the ones in this area. Okay, then we've got three action points left. What can we do with those three? Can you not do anything else? No. The Devastators of Sadducee and Oraldi's Cleaver. Oraldi's Cleaver got cleaved. They're the dead ones. Oh dear. Um, They still can't beat us if they attack us because we've got the defensive. Uh, and then eventually we can get our spy in here to give us a hand. So, okay, commit those orders. We're going to stabity stab their spy. Hopefully, we're a better level than them, so that's good. And I think, yeah, if they've got level four, maybe we want to get our one up to level six. So, assassination in that place again. <laughs> Gonna need some cream on that. Um, our spider in the southeast found a permanent solution for a spy who was assisting the enemy. Okay, the permanent solution being, you know, stabbity stab to becoming dead. Right, okay, so continue that. We've trained up another unit over here. This is wonderful. Click to continue place orders. Right, I think you... Uh, oh no, hang on, go to the thing. Train that spy up to become a level six spy because they're getting a little bit sort of a little bit difficult to handle. And then I think if we bring our spy down like that and then I think if we bring our military unit in like that and then we bring our other guys in over here, that's going to be two military units. So it's going to be even against us. But we've got a spy in there which will hopefully tip the scales in our favour. And they're literally our little scales when we do the fighting thing. Let's see if that works. Hopefully that's going to be good. Uh, and then you guys can just move out here 
just to maybe provide some cover later on or whatever. Right, commit those orders. This fight is key. This fight is crucial to us potentially winning this whole thing. So turn uh, sort of resolution. We come in here. Right, there's going to be a fight. So fight goes on. So the Battle of Lower Barton, two versus two. But then our spy comes in look, and tips it in our favour. So we've got victory. Uh, our spy turned the tide, it uh, turned the tide of battle in our favour. One lot died, one lot ran away, which is good. That's good for us. But they run down into here, which is a bit of a bother for us. So, OK, we're going to hang around here then. So click to continue. There's nothing going. Oh, hang on. There's their level five spy look. We did the right thing in trying to train our spy up. OK, do it again. Do that again. Train up that spy to become level whatever it is. Seven, is it now? They need to become better than the opposition spies because that's key to everything. Right, you guys come down here. So that's three military units and a level three spy. That should be enough for us to take that keep away from them. And that should, I think, if we can keep that and hold it, be enough. So we've got two goes left. Um... Is it worth over here just training up another spy? Just recruit a spy over there just to pop over to Finham or whatever. So, okay, we'll keep the point for now and turn that into another action point later on. So, let's see. Turn resolution. Right, so supply... Oh, they're starving. They're starving because we've cut them off. Okay, so they're down to that. They've potentially foolishly come in here. So, they've basically committed suicide. The Battle of Low Button, another Battle of Low Button. It's a brutal, brutal loss, that is. Good grief. That was a terrible murder. Um, we've trained a spy. And over here, we are going to do some assassinating. Okay, big important job number one. Assassinate this other spy. I mean, they're very good at that. They're very good at the whole cloak and dagger thing. And now, I think, if we can move everybody in here. So move you guys in. And then move... Oh, it's mountains. It's mountains. Okay, no, okay. I think... Hang on. Cancel that. Belay that order. We need everybody to move in at the same time. That's not going to work. It's going to take six action points to get those three in at the same time. If we move two in, I don't think it's going to go well. So we have to wait for a while. Okay, okay. That's fine. We can hang around for a turn, I think. I don't think they can get any kind of... Any defences into us. I think we have them on the ropes, to be honest. I think we have them on the ropes. Okay, so commit... Hang on, you. You're not doing anything. You, level one spy, you can just... I want you to get over to here or here to give us more action points. So you come down here, commit those orders. So you guys just sort of hang around for a bit. Turn resolution, assassination, and... Stabity stab, another assassination that plays. Okay, there we go. Killity kill, they go down. Continue. Right, they are replenishing their troops in their botherations. Um, we're going to need to get the spy into there. We are going to need to get. Hang on, can we go from here to here? Other than if we go there, we're not going to be able to hold it. We need to come down here. We need to get that place off them. And we need to hold it. But now we've only got five action points. We need a six. So it's very important that new spy comes over here. And then the really good spy can go over there. And then possibly go to Finham next time, maybe. That would be handy. Right, okay. Try that then. You guys just sort of hang around over here for a bit. Can't get another military unit in, I don't think. Because we've got the four. Okay. Uh, they've got four bits of food, but scattered. Their food is sort of scattered around. Um, possibly one unit there might starve. They might starve, which would be good. Right, okay, commit orders. So let's see what happens with this then. So what are they going to? Term resolution. They've starved because they haven't got enough food. Movement, we're all moving around. They've lost a move, uh, an action point because we've stole it. One, two, three, four, six. We've got six action points. We can't take the spy in, but we have got the six. Okay, I think, get our spy. Let's go and take Finum. So go there, and then you guys, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've still got six. So you guys march in, and then you guys, uh, Gaindir's hand, you march in, 
and then the devastators of Sadducee, you march in as well. It's the big showdown. It's the big showdown over there at the keep. And our spy is just going to sort of hang around over here for a bit, possibly. Maybe. Oh, no, they can't do anything. They can't move. No action points. Okay. Commit these orders. This is huge. This is kind of the big... If we win this, we've got the five castles. Then we just have to hold on to them, which we should be able to do because they won't have any food left. The Battle of Booten Crag. So it's three versus two victory. We take that, they are wiped out, and boom. Okay, we've got the five castles we need. So there we go, okie dokie, place orders. Ooh, they, that's where their spies are coming from. You are two turns away from victory, the game excitingly says. Right, so you assassinate that spy, because there's a baddie spy just there, and then what can we do here? Right, you guys all need to come back over here to defend this middle bit. So we'll keep those two castles under our control. Keep those two under our control. The only thing is, don't know what's going to happen to Shore Peter Stone. Where are they? Where's Is that their only unit? That might be their only military unit. So they're going to have to make a bit of a trek over here. And if they do, we might be able to go and meet them with these guys. In fact, is it worth moving those guys to there? So they can either nip over here to fight or down here to fight if they have to. They're in a more central position. I think that's our best course of action. Uh, and then over here, level one spy can just come back over that way. Yay for level one spy. Okay. Lots of moving going on. Uh, turn resolution. So assassination. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're pretty good at this. This person's killed loads of people. Assassination in Louster. Okay. Success. Um, our spider in the north assassinated a master spy who was assisting the enemy masters. They were good, weren't they? But we're better, which is more important. Um, assassination. Oh, but they've... Oh, where's that? Lower Barton? Where... Oh, no. Oh, no. We lost a level three spy. They're going to spy down here. We know they have a spy over there. Okay, that's quite bad. Click to continue. We are one turn away from victory. That's it. One turn away. If we keep all of these castles for the next turn... That's kind of it. We are done. Right, I think... I think that's... Hang on, where can their military be? So they've got two... Two bits of food on that poxy little island over there. Can we... I didn't really look at it. Can we do stuff with these? No. So we can muster soldiers, but we can't do anything else with the land. We can't sort of, you know, plant farms or whatever. I don't think so. Yeah, that's farmland, look. Uh, so it provides supply to all connected regions. Yeah, I don't think we can actually build on stuff. No, it's just planes and stuff. Right, okay. I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be okay. We'll keep you there just in case. There's a level one spy. There's you. Right, you come down to here. Just, uh, oh no, you can't. You're going to have to go into that. Do you know what? We're going to get revenge if we can. We might have time for revenge, but we're going to move in here and try to avenge the death of our fallen spy comrade there. The Song of Edmund the Forsaken has taken a very murderous, vengeful tone here because we're not happy about that. But I think they can't come down here and kill us because they're not strong enough. So they can't take those two. They're not going to get these two. So it's really just that one there, but they can't reach that because they're not next to it. So I think we've. I think if we commit our orders, I think we've done it. I think that is sufficient. So turn resolution, movement. We've gone into here. We've claimed find them for ourselves. Place orders. But there we go. Victory. Your empire has taken the realm. The song of Edmund the Forsaken finishes on a lovely high note for us, I'd say. Look at that. And yeah, we could have grabbed that bit of land for ourselves. We could have... I don't know why that's not ready. I know we didn't send military over there, did we? So we never kind of claimed that. We could have claimed as well. But really... It doesn't matter. We got the five castles. We held on to them for long enough. And there we go. Victory is ours. So where's the only other two? Yeah, there, look. There. They've got one there and one over there. That's where their other military unit was. Just kind of hanging out over here. Um, I don't think they could have even got down to here anyway. I thought they'd have to go to there and then back out to here by the look of it. So there we go. Our empire took their own penge, the own crown. Hopefully, Canabacan penge the crown. That'd be quite good, wouldn't it? Can we get a crown now? Now we're taking the realm. Can we have a fancy crown? Or does the crown go to letter? Oh dear. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? Elise, Sister Elise is not going to be happy. But
but Sister Letta is now the queen of the realm. There we go. Well done, Letta. Good job. Enjoy your crown. We might not have one, but hopefully you get a fancy crown. Well, there we go. That was Spies and Soldiers, and I really enjoyed that. I thought that was really, really good fun. It's one of those games which doesn't look that difficult to play, actually, you know, the mechanics of it. It's not that difficult to understand how it works. You know, the combat is relatively straightforward. Do you have more people than the opposition? Yeah, there's a few other calculations take into account, whether they're in a castle or whatever, but it's relatively straightforward. But mastering the game is quite hard. It's one of those games where you have to kind of play it a little bit and figure out your tactics and what to do and how to do things in the most optimal way. And I think really the opposition there didn't have that much in the way of military power. They didn't have that much in the way of soldiers. So they went down the route of spies. They did have quite a lot of spies going on. That was what they were kind of hoping for. I think they were trying to take all the little towns and make sure we didn't have any action points so we couldn't get anything done. But of course, we worked around that in the end and we thwarted them and we took a glorious victory, which was wonderful. So yeah, that's really good. That's really, really good. Given it's a demo, I am quite impressed. We might possibly have to pop back and have a look at that when it's a little bit more developed. I think there is a campaign sort of proposed. If you go to new game and then play solo, there is a campaign. It's not in the demo right now, but I would love to play a campaign of that. That might be quite fun. So I suspect we might possibly pop back and look at this at some point in the future when it's a little bit more developed. But for now, we'll finish things up on a high, on a glorious, glorious high, the high of victory, which is all very good. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. We're going to go around the place with a little chest of tea possibly so whilst we're doing our gangstery business we can offer people some lovely cups of tea or whatever penge cupboard can buy all the teapots that have ever been made i imagine with that money yes you're doing a fine job wonderful hat you've come to the wrong place to try and annoy us we might have to possibly introduce you to some shooty things